Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are uh, continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, advice, guidance, and continuing in my uh, series of uh, stories of Rabzusha Vanapol uh, and uh, the subject of Imuna and Chuva. I'm reminded of a story uh, of Rabzusha. This was this happened uh, during the intermediate days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the days of awe, and uh, where we're particularly focused on turning our lives around, of doing tshuva, of turning toward God, returning to God. And in the, in the shul, where uh, Reb Zusha sat, there were other chassidim around him, and anyone who stood near Reb Zusha while he was praying, while he was talking to God, was overcome the look on Reb Zusha's face, the, the divine spirit he had that was reaching out to God, praying for forgiveness, praying for, for return. One by one, Hasidim started standing around him, and like a coal, a burning coal, lights the others around them, so too, one by one, the Jews around him were consumed with a desire to return to God, to tshuva. One by one, they were caught up with this zeal, this fervor, and they did uh, a tshuva shlema, a complete, complete returning to God. One by one, two, four, six, eight, everyone was caught up catching the fire from Razusha until the shul was filled with souls on fire. The last man, who was also overcome with a desire, overheard Reb Zusha whispering to God. And he said, Master of the universe, Lord of the world, you know that I do not have the strength to do tshuva. This is Reb Zusha whispering to God. I don't have the strength to do tshuva. So please accept everything I have, the only thing I have, my love and my shame. That's what I offer for you, is tshuva. The man was, was just dumbfounded. Um, here he was, setting an entire shul ablaze with a desire for tshuva, but he himself thought that he did not have the strength to do tshuva. That was the humility, that was the greatness of Reb Zusha Vanipal. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them of some use. I hope you're finding them of uh, some inspiration. Jews, converts, B'nai Noach. Um, when you speak to people, when the subject rolls around, to emuna and truva, to faith and repentance. Be that coal that just maybe, just maybe, might light another coal. Even if we don't think very much of ourselves at like poor uh, Rabzusha, inspiring everybody and yet not thinking he was so great. No matter how humble we are, no matter how lowly we may think of ourselves, that we're not, you know, we're not deserving of this task, you know. Uh, are we competent enough to do this? You don't know the effect that it will have on someone. You don't know what a simple word of encouragement might do. You don't know how far the ripple effect will go in the pond. You may be saying, you know what? I don't have the strength for this, but the person beside you, the person listening to you, he might catch fire. Don't give up. Never give up on Hashem. Hashem will never give up on you. And don't give up on yourself. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel. And thank you so much.